Are you struggling to get zoom controls and pinch to zoom working in your Android web view? You're not alone. Many developers face this challenge, and today we're going to solve it together. I totally get how frustrating it can be when you expect a feature to work, but it just doesn't. You set everything up, but the zoom controls are nowhere to be found. It's a common issue, and we're here to tackle it. Here's the situation. One user reached out saying they have set up their web view with built-in zoom controls, but nothing appears. They even tried removing the support for zoom, but that didn't help either. Sound familiar? Let's dive into the details. So, what could be going wrong? It might be related to how the web view is set up or how the layout is structured. We'll break down the code and find out where the issue lies. And stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a pro tip that can help you avoid this issue in the future. To enable zoom controls and pinch to zoom in the Android web view, the user should first ensure that the web view settings are correctly configured. This includes enabling built-in zoom controls and support for zoom. Next, the user should check if the web view is properly initialized in the layout. It's important that the web view is not wrapped in a scroll view, as this can interfere with zoom functionality. In the user's implementation, they should also verify that the web view is added to the layout correctly. This can be done by ensuring that the web view is added to the placeholder layout after it is created. Finally, the user should test the application to see if the zoom controls are now visible and functional. They can do this by running the app and trying to zoom in and out on the content displayed in the web view. Fun fact, did you know that the first web browsers didn't even support zoom? We've come a long way, but sometimes the simplest features can trip us up. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach shared by another user involves creating a dedicated activity for displaying PDFs in a web view. They set up the web view with JavaScript enabled and configure it to support zoom controls. The user also loads a PDF from a URL using Google Docs Viewer. In their XML layout, the user includes a scroll view to wrap the web view, ensuring that pinch to zoom functionality works effectively. This setup allows for a better user experience when viewing PDFs. That's all on that answer. Let's take a look at another one. An alternative solution from a user suggests calling your init UI method after setting the content view. This is important because you need to get a reference to your layout before making changes to the web view settings. Let's take a moment to review another user's answer. An alternative solution provided by another user suggests simplifying your code. They recommend using just two lines to enable zoom controls in your web view. You can set built-in zoom controls and display zoom controls with these commands. Here's the pro tip I promised. Always test your web view in different layouts and configurations. This can save you a lot of headaches down the line. And there you have it. With these steps, your zoom controls should be working perfectly. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks on Android development.